Welcome, everyone. This is uh, Hollywood Times, and we are here with Kyle and Michael, and both of you guys are executive producers on Iconic Wives. This is a, a TV series coming out. Michael, we'll start with you, and if you could explain to us what exactly is Iconic Wives and how did it come about? Okay. All right. So first, let me start with how it came about. Um, one day, uh, Kyle and uh, myself, as, uh, along with Kalia Camacho Ali, who was the former wife of Muhammad Ali, we were having a business meeting. And we were just sitting around just, just showing some issues and just talking about this and that. Then uh, we, as we were talking, Kalia happened to say something. And then I asked her a, a question. I said, hey, by the way, how does it feel knowing that no matter what you do, no matter how famous you become, you'll always be referred to as the former wife of Muhammad Ali? And when we got to talking, as we're sitting there, that's when we came up with the idea for the Iconic Wives. And I said, you know, it would really be great if we could put a show together where we, you know, we go to the better halves of these men who became icons because you know there's always a, a woman behind that man. So we started thinking, okay, well, you know, which, which ones are truly icons? And that's when we came up with the names Elvis Presley, Muhammad Ali, Bruce Lee, Sylvester Stallone, and the Beatles, uh, the Bee Gees, and so on and so on. And at that point, uh, that's when we said, okay, we need to come up with a show called, and we came up with the name, The Iconic Wives. Uh, where we interview the wives uh, either in their homes or here in Florida at the Diplomat Hotel and Spa, which is right here in Hollywood, Florida. And uh, mm -hmm. when we approached the, uh, the Diplomat Hotel about it, they were like, you know, that's a really good idea. Let's do this in our presidential suites and uh, we'll handle everything on this end. We were like, OK, then we, we have something here. Then we started contacting the wives at that point. And uh, that's how we got started. Excellent. Now, you did list a couple of these wives. Kyle, did you want to elaborate on who's going to be, who you are targeting for the couple of episodes down the line? So um, targeted right now, uh, we have uh, Barry White's wife, uh, Glodine White. We have uh, Reverend Jesse Jackson's wife. Um, we have uh, Hulk Hogan's wife. Um Phil Collins' wife, uh, Khalila Camacho Ali, uh, uh, you know, Muhammad Ali's ex-wife, uh, uh, obviously she'll be on. Um, and it, there's there's a ton more. We had, uh, we're going to re-approach um, uh, Priscilla Presley uh, after the tragedy with um, her daughter. We, uh, we kind of put her on the sidelines for a while. Now we're going to go back to her and see if she's still interested um, you know, we we have, a, I think we have close to 200 wives uh, on the list already that's uh, been approached uh, or uh, have already uh, accepted the uh, opportunity. I love that. I'm glad that everyone is very um, interested in participating and actually getting their voice heard versus, you know, being in the back burner there. I did see that you had a lot of the Beatles wives that you yes. have contacted. And is that going to be one episode with all of the four together? Because that would be a great. <laughs> it's, po it's, it's possible. Uh, the problem is, is trying to get them all at one time. Yeah. So we may have to do them one at a time because when we try, you know, we, we keep trying to get them all at one time, but it, it seems to be uh, kind of hard to get them all at one time because they're always doing something. Oh, between the between the travel and their plans and controversy, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we we've now, already run into a little bit of that. Uh, oh gosh, one of our one of our filmings. Oh my goodness, Do, would you guys describe the genre to be like a documentary meets a talk show, or w w would it be more like a twenty twenty type of version? How would you group this show in your I'm eyes? I would say more of a 2020, like Barbara Walters. You have a moderator and she's, they're going back and forth with the celebrity wife. So yeah, I would say more of a 2020. Um, in the next couple of episodes, I was wondering if you guys were going to open up to audience participation as in asking questions to these wives. 
Um, or is that not in what you're seeing for this show? I would say, you know, now that one we've been pushing around. Um, at first, I, you know, we, we thought about doing uh, with audience. I mean, could we still do that maybe on the second season? The uh, we probably won't do that on the first season because uh, then we'd have to have one, lo you know, one location place where, you know, the wives would come to. And then I don't think they'll open up as, you know, as, as personal when you're just doing a one on one with them uh, than sitting there with full audience. Uh, so maybe we'll see about that during the second season. That's awesome. And another question I did have was, um, uh, it of course, just slipped in my mind here. Um, where do you believe the series will go? Like, who is your targeted audience? And who do you, where do you want it to end up? You want to answer that, Kyle, or, or me? Um, either one. Uh, I, the target audience is obviously um, the women that are out there but um, the we uh, we feel that the men are going to have a lot of participation and enjoyment out of it as well because they're going to be seeing the icons that they grew up with or that they love and then they're going to get a lot of the stories the backstories you know kind of behind the scenes stuff that nobody else knows about and um, so we'll we'll be able to tie in, in the men uh, mm -hmm. as well uh, in that way so that you know we'll target both the male and female audience but um the age ranges are anywhere from you know children that uh that have a favorite actor or race car driver or boxer or wrestler or anybody um all the way up to you know retirement age and beyond uh you know there's really no target audience it's it's for anyone and as far as networks go, yeah, um, I think uh, I don't think that we have at this point a target network. You know, I, I know mm -hmm. the uh, it kind of fits into a lot of Bravo, uh, but mm -hmm. um, you know, we don't want to confine it to one uh, one platform if we can help that. You know, we'd like to have it on multiple platforms so it's accessible to to more people. You know, we don't want to have somebody excluded because they don't have a membership to a certain platform. All right. That's why the ideal platform would be something like a uh, CBS, ABC or NBC uh, or ABC. That would be the mm -hmm. ideal platform. Yes. And we do have uh, um, distribution on that as well uh, already. Uh, it's just kind of a matter of um, who comes to us with the best deal. Exactly. Now during, for this day and age, influencers have become pretty hot stuff right now. Um, and I was wondering, will you open the door to talking to influencers um, partners? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. All right. Yeah. Cause I feel like I've met a few of them a uh, couple days and they're very young, but they also have their partners who are their, of course they call them their managers. <laughs> <laughs> which is very interesting on the checklist. I'm like, oh, AKA husband. Oh, okay, guy, got it. You're AKA okay, <laughs> wife. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, exactly. so that just putting it out there, that might be an interesting for the younger generation because a lot of times you'll say the Beatles and the younger generation be like, who are they? You know, um, so, you know, just to include if you're looking 17 and older <laughs> in that bracket. Um, and now I we did bridge on this um, a little bit, but, um, uh, so th the idea of the storyline is to really get to know these women and what they had to go through in the behind the scenes of Absolutely. their husband's careers. Yes. And what you, they are doing okay. and what they are doing now. So the, the first half of the show starts off with of course, you have to show the husband and why this person became an icon. The last half of the show then deals strictly with the wife. Uh, what's her day to day uh, for mm -hmm. her? Uh, what's she doing now? Uh, you know, because a lot of them are still either active uh, during. Uh, uh, they're either politicians, they're either actors, uh, philanthropists. Uh, they're all pretty much seen. They all seem to be doing something. Right. Mm -hmm. Will this will this series 
follow their progression to later episodes? Like, will you come back to the same or to see what they're doing, you know, in their, their later times? Or is it, you know, one episode is just strictly for one wife and then it will be grouped together? So we have, we, we do have intentions to uh, do a lot of different things. Um, uh, spinoff shows, follow-up shows, uh, you know, there's all of that stuff is, is still uh, in development at this point, but, okay. uh, but we absolutely do have plans to, to uh, do some follow-up and, and some spinoffs with this. That's yeah, like awesome. for instance, what he's saying is one of our spinoffs is the iconic husbands, because uh, mm -hmm. you, where you have uh, um, um, no, no, no. We said iconic kids, iconic husbands, and uh, we have a lot of spinoffs from the iconic wives. Yes. Yeah. So you know you have people, and uh, we also have um, uh, a spinoff iconic couples, Brad <laughs> Pitt and Angelina Jolie. Who is the icon? So since you can't figure it out, that's now true. We have, that is we have true. A, a uh -huh. show so that they're not excluded. They're included, but it would just be a different show. Have you had any, I'm not going to say backlash, but any uh, resistance towards opening up of their lives of any wives? Uh, you, you want to tell the story? I, I, I'm not, I can't go completely in it just to blow us out the air, but there are two big um, wives of, uh, and their husbands are both rock and rollers. And mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I don't know if I, should I go into the story, Kyle, or should I that's, not? That's the controversy that I said that we've already run into. Um, okay. There's, we, they, had, we had a filming uh, and we had three wives scheduled for that day. We found out the day before that uh, the two wives had a little bit of a grudge. Uh, and then mm -hmm. the day of the filming, they found out that they were going to be in the same place at the same time. And they mm -hmm. both came. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, it was bad. Yeah. So okay. We, we found out very quickly that uh, we have to make sure that if we do do multiple filmings on one day, that we have to disclose who's there and if there's any issues. <laughs> yeah, and the fight six, you wouldn't have thought of that. Oh, no. with it, you know, no. it would become more of a Jerry Springer show. <laughs> yes, yeah. and, yes. and especially with the wives, I, you know, that never even really dawned on us because mm -hmm. uh, you know we, it's typically the icon that's going to have the conflict with somebody else. But uh, this one was, was pretty big. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness maybe after the show we can tell you about <laughs> right yes um have have you what what is your favorite wife thus far that you have interviewed and got to know and really connect with well actually my favorite i haven't we haven't we we've talked to her but we haven't interviewed her yet uh we have to go to her but i can pretty much tell you my favorite is the wife of bruce lee that's, that's I, so cool. I grew up being a huge Bruce Lee fan. As a kid, I had Bruce Lee posters everywhere. So, yeah, yeah that one is is, is going to be my favorite when we do that particular show. As a matter of fact, uh, even my brothers have asked me, uh, can we come, you know, to meet her as well? Because they were all Bruce Lee fans as well. <laughs> uh, I don't know which one is, uh, you know, have you thought about it? Um, I don't know that I have a favorite, but my anticipation and my excitement is uh, for the Beatles' wives. I would more than anything like to have all four of them on stage together and do the show. That I think that would uh, I could die a happy man. <laughs> oh, I love it! <laughs> now, in your um, production stages right now. What are you looking for for help or for people to jump aboard? Uh, more of like producers, do you need more of? What are you guys looking for at this time? Kyle, you want to take first and I, I'll fill in? Um, so right now we're looking for uh, EPs. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, we have distribution. Um, you know, we have everything set up. So we just need EPs, sponsors, um, or anybody that's interested in product placement. Um, 
so that we can get uh, that little bit of extra money together to, to get everything finalized. Right. But influencers, we are definitely open for influencers, though. Absolutely. Influencers. Okay, perfect. Excellent. I love that. We will add that in um, so people can connect with you guys on that level. Um, there's definitely a lot of influencers who are out there to to jump aboard projects to make some money. Yeah. <laughs> so that's very good. Uh, what is your time frame for the show? Like I saw uh, eight episodes. Um, when when were you thinking of when it does get aired? Like how many do you release at a time? What is the time frame for your for this show? Uh, we're looking at begin filming next month, okay. uh, and we're looking. Um, we should be able to film pretty much all eight episodes in actually just a couple months, and just uh, actually about two months, uh, because mm -hmm. uh, there are some days that we may be able to do two or three episodes in one day. Uh, but we're going to release eight episodes. That's what the um, the distributor is asking for for the first season is uh, eight episodes. So okay. that would be hard to do. Okay, perfect. And then to release them, uh, we say February, March, April, May, uh, somewhere in May or June to release them. May and June. Okay, perfect. All right. And is there anything else you guys want the audience to know about the show and when they can tune in for it? <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I expect a lot of surprises because uh, we're going to be showing a lot of home movies, a lot of pictures that people have never uh, seen before. Uh, definitely uh, some um, wording from the wise themselves that will surprise you because you know, well, as we're interviewing them, even we're surprised with a lot of stuff that we didn't know and we thought we knew everything. Uh, I mean, even today, I still mm -hmm. get a lot of surprises, you know, even from like Khalil Ali, Muhammad Ali's former wife, when we're talking and she tells me things I'm like, what? I, I didn't know that or I didn't know that. There are going to be some really shocking surprises. So uh, that's what they're, they're going to be sitting on the edge of their seats is like, you've got to be kidding me. That actually happened. And yeah, that's what that's what you're going to get. Yeah. What do you think, Kyle? <laughs> Absolutely. You know, uh, just like you were saying, talking to Kalila, the things that she has told us and the things that, that, that she went through and that nobody knows. And yeah. she's mm -hmm. finally getting the opportunity to tell her story. It's it's just incredible. I, you know, yeah. I could sit there and listen to her stories for days because they're just stuff that you would never expect. Absolutely. Oh, I love it. And I love that these women get to voice, you know, life behind the scenes, which we don't really get to see much because no. they're hiding in the sh the shine of their their right. plus one, <laughs> as I call it. <laughs> right. You're, you're exactly right, uh, because no one really not too many people think to actually go to them and, and find out, hey, so what was it like behind mm -hmm. the scenes? You know, we only know this or that, you know, from the husband. But what was it like, you know, being in your shoes, you know, when you have got all these millions of people that adore, you know, your husband and, you know, the women and everything else. So ooh, there's a there's a lot back there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I'm definitely excited for the, the branch off series of the children, because the children do get learning from like Michael Jackson's family kind of feel you know, some of them got bigger than the others and how that yeah. affects them because there was a lot of them, <laughs> you know? Yes. It's funny um, you mentioned them because I was just studying them last night, as a matter of fact. Mm -hmm. I was just up till about midnight, uh, you know, looking at the different controversy between Jermaine Jackson and Michael Jackson yeah. and, uh, the, you know, the, the fighting that was going on. So, yeah, you're correct. Yeah, so that would be definitely very interesting to tune in and watch because... You know, everyone can guess at how they handle things. But even uh -huh. Britney Spears with her book, you know, when she came out with that, we'd learn things. Of, what? You know, so you just never know with kids and how they grew up and how they are now. You know, so I love learning about how we interact in our life right now is what grows us to become who we are the next day. You know, so that yeah. is basically what we're going to get to see with these wives and then the branch off of the children of like, this is how, why they became the way they did, you know? Yes. 
So yeah. that that's very cool to to get to learn. And people will learn from them, you know, yes. and hopefully connect and radiate, you know, and and have like, even though we're not all famous out there, you know, we get to it's all human instinct. It's all human. We can connect with that level of humanity. Yes. yes. <laughs> so that's very wonderful. And I just want to thank you guys for joining us today. And I am excited to see where this goes. And hopefully with this video and help, we can get a couple of uh, EPs and executive producers for you guys. And hopefully influencers will jump aboard. Um, and I will hopefully, I'll link as many as I know to see if, if they'll be interested, which would be wonderful. <laughs> right. But yeah, but thank you guys for joining us. And thank I you. will definitely... Um, be also writing a story along with this so they get to read it as well, which is exciting um, for view viewers who don't like to watch, they get to read. <laughs> we still got some people who like newspapers. <laughs> so, it's, oh God, thank you guys though so much. Thank you.